Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where China is gone to. Uh, hopefully, right after I took Pengu. Uh, let's see. Because <laughs> I was about to tick over to take Pengu. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> you bastards. Right. Well, that's very irritating. Uh, 63. Hmm, that's a little spicy, actually. Let's try and take... Let's try and take the Caroline Islands or something. Uh, can I do that already? Uh, I could go for the Western Philippines, I suppose. But, uh, no, we'll go for... We'll go for the vulnerable stuff first. Uh, I'm leaving the Spanish alone. Um, because I'm trying to have them not explode. But, uh... Yeah, we, we now only at war with one nation. Although, yeah, I haven't had any conquest missions, which is really irritating. Uh, I'm sending the fleet from Brest over to Cuba to help out. Uh, we should take uh, the Canary Islands in the next couple of turns, uh, and then they can try and take Western Sahara, basically. But I'll be back when there is some news. Okay, we have indeed taken the Canary Islands. Uh, ungoverned territory, Pengu, yes. Uh, thank goodness, right. You lot, <laughs> turn around, go back, and start invading Pengu again. Uh, dearie me, at least that can't happen twice. Uh, again, I'm leaving the convoys, although I did see, yes, here it is. Um, no, it's not. Spain has a battleship somewhere, there it is. The Rayana class. They're not very expensive. At only 62 million. Um, they do have armour. And they do have guns though. So I'm not going to be stupid. And send a heavy cruiser in to look at them. Um, I'm hoping that they spawn a battle with a battle cruiser or something. Uh, and then we can go have a look at them. Uh, naval evasion here is now up to 100%. Which is perfect. And this lot can move down here. And April Evasion, Western Sahara, yes. Good, good, good. Right, let the invasions continue. Welcome back. It's now February of 1917, and things have gone very badly for Spain this month. We have conquered Mauritania and southern Spain, and the naval invasion of Cuba has succeeded. Um... So, not great <clears throat> for the Spanish. I'm going to move this fleet over here to Puerto Rico, which shouldn't be too hard for them to take. Uh, might be able to do the Dutch Antilles simultaneously with this fleet that's over here. Um, just cleaning up, really. Uh, naval invasion here, two months... And that's pretty much it. Obviously, we haven't we haven't had any success over here, but um, Spain is looking a little bit uh, a little bit peaky. I think, especially if I manage to knock them out of Western Sahara, that'll be uh, very nice. We should take Equatorial Guinea as well. Um, yeah, I don't. I could go for a peace deal once this naval invasion finishes, but. Honestly, I think I'm best off to just keep keep hammering them. Are they going to collapse soon? I don't think so, especially, especially if I um, avoid taking out their convoys and things. Um, and ideally, we now we've taken southern Spain, we'll get a get a couple of missions here. But this is the this is what I want, and I'm not getting it. Oh well, maybe I need to finish the invasion of Pengu. First couple of months to do that. I brought over the uh, Triton from Fort Bayard just to help with that. Um, and uh, yes, I will keep an eye on things and I'll be back when there's some more news. All right, Equatorial Guinea has fallen. Uh, and I believe that means Western Sahara has fallen as well. And so has Pengu. Huzzah! Um... Well, uh, we could immediately go for the Philippines, but this big old fist means that 
I know that causes trouble <laughs> when you're trying to do naval invasions. So I'm going to send the fleet over to uh, the Marianas and Guam. Hopefully we can get some something going there. And the battle cruiser I'm going to oops I'm going to send I'm going to send back into port actually maybe she can generate some missions against these ships uh got a couple of convoys but again I'm kind of studiously ignoring these to give the uh, Spanish a chance this fleet though uh this is the this is the Mediterranean fleet isn't it Yes, they can actually go home and save me some money because I am burning through my cash here. Because uh, I mainly because I'm building ships. But uh, how many months are we on those? I'm building some stuff for our new Serbian allies. Still a year out, so yeah, I need to, I need to get uh, costs under control. Yeah, I think we uh, we complete this. And I think as well, as a temporary measure, uh, anything that I can swap from sea control to in being, I will, I will, I will, I will do that in being. Okay, should me save me a bunch of money. Well, not as much as I hoped, but it saves me some. And uh, yes, back to back to invading, but Africa looking very uh, very French very blue now and so is the Caribbean which by the way is pissing the Americans off so we might have uh, an interesting situation where we're at war with the Americans <laughs> uh, but yeah uh, yeah I'm just going to keep going up going against Spain as best I can and see what else we can take alright the army has not been idle they have taken Nicaragua and Spain is gone. <laughs> okay, that's one way of ending the war. Um, cool. Right, let's get these guys back in port. Um, probably Tsingtao. Uh, let's actually get the battlecruiser in port. It's doing that thing where it goes right outside the port and not into it. Annoyingly, we didn't get to take Puerto Rico. See, and this was with me being careful. Uh, this fleet is. Oh no, that's the uh, that's the original fleet. This is this should be over here. You guys need to split up now. Do we have any? So, well. Okay, not that one, because it hasn't regenerated yet. Yeah, I'm just going to have to split them up a bit. We don't have any... We don't have any particularly big ports. So, I'm going to send... a couple of ships to Fort de France. And uh, distribute all of that. I'm going to put everybody on... <laughs> everybody on... Limited... And I'm going to cut back on hmm, probably tech spending because it has the biggest impact. Cut that to 50%. And I'm going to cut true training to 50% as well, just so that we can get things on an even keel, get all the ships back in port, and then I'll, I'll start increasing that again. Uh, we might get some conquest missions, which would be nice. Politics-wise, yeah. Italy might have another go. America. Possibly the Soviet Union. Or, of course, if any of those countries that we just exploded uh, reform. <laughs> but otherwise, peace, peace time. Well, I did say it might happen, but uh, we have the serious incident... Um, with the US, which usually, yeah, means war. Oh, and they provoked me directly. How how rude of them. Uh, 
this is well what is this puerto rico yes we'll go for puerto rico um i have a conquest mission to take uh the western philippines which i currently have this set of ships doing uh against america though there actually isn't that much in the pacific that they own um weirdly and we can actually threaten the americans from our pacific holdings here so because america hasn't expanded a lot i don't think they have anything in africa uh, I don't think they have anything over here in Europe, which sometimes does happen. Uh, nope. Nope, they've got nothing over here. Well, they've got ships. They've got two battleships over here. Um, that means all the action is going to be in the Caribbean. Oh, they do have um, Uruguay for some reason. Um, but I think our best bet uh, well, aside from taking uh, Puerto Rico, uh, that will also let me blob my Caribbean fleet up again because they don't have a... Also, this is, by the way, bugged at zero out of zero forever by the looks of it, which is just fabulous. Um, anyway, we're going to move all, all of them together. To take Puerto Rico, which I know is not actually the target, but Panama down here definitely is a target. So we're going to need the Mediterranean fleet. We're going to need our fleets, basically, uh, for now to defend against all this stuff coming out. Um, but, well, they only have six battleships. They have a lot of armoured cruisers, though. A lot of armored cruisers. They're also very busy. I think it's fair to say they're busy. However, we are about to be busy as well with the Italians. But they don't have a big fleet. So, I think what I should do is I should move the ships from La Rochelle over to Panama. Which will also just cause problems for them. But not triumphant. Move the others over, and uh, let's let's see what happens. Yep, uh, war with Italy, as sort of expected. Uh, and uh, oh, the Americans have taken Colombia. That is also an important target for us. Then, no battles. All we're just happily sailing, <laughs> sailing past each other. Um, this, yeah, this is going fine. And this one should complete as well. Uh, but I need to put my... Well, I don't necessarily need to put my ships. They've all gone on to in being. Um, that should be fine for now. Uh, yeah, they're just sailing ships all over the place. They seem to want to um, park them outside Helgeland, which is amusing uh, unless they've got a, a naval invasion of western germany going which it's actually good for me if they take it because then i should immediately generate an army attack against them uh the german territories have been very tricky apart from lithuania for anyone to take um the japanese have taken the Weiwei peninsula which is fair enough um yes oh and the eastern philippines is now owned by the Philippines. So they're independent. Yes. Guess, guess I'll end the turn. All right. We've taken Puerto Rico. Uh, Dutch Antilles. Yes. Uh, I was going to move this fleet uh, down to help invade Colombia. But... They can go down and take the Dutch Antilles instead. Because we need to keep going with that. Um, only 20% chance to succeed. Probably because of that light cruiser. Um, just trying to think who I can send to help with that. 
because I don't think I have ships lying around spare. Mind you, the the Mediterranean fleet itself, at least the battleships, probably aren't needed. Italy doesn't really have anything to contend them. And, I mean, yeah, I could navally invade Sicily, but I'd rather hit up the Americans. So I'm going to move these ships over to help with this. Maybe we can get that chance up a little. Uh, I'm going to leave the heavy cruisers, but we will bring a couple of the light cruisers as escorts. Um, however, I really want to see what on earth the Americans have. They have the Duluth, an Indianapolis-class light cruiser. It is using pretty high-quality armor, 337mm guns. It's not that fast. Is this a... No, this is a really old... <laughs> it's a porcupine. Um, we also have... Serbian destroyers? <laughs> How did they get here? But uh, it it's worth a look just to see what kind of stuff the Germans are you uh, the Germans too used to fighting the Germans the Americans are using. Uh, unless they give, give me free transport kills, which is entirely possible. Maybe they are taking the Spanish approach to convoy escort. No, they are not. There. Oh, it's the hideous box cruiser. Still. Hello, America. Lost sight of them. There they are again. Send some torpedoes there, wait. <gasps> oh, that was not a good turn to do. <laughs> oh, Genesee, Genesee. Lovely shot. Midship torpedo hit. Hmm. Alright, let's have a proper look at you. Uh, mini bulk hits. Uh, it does have some armour. Yeah, that's not looking too far off what our own cruisers are running. Just a shame it took a torpedo. Pull back. You've uh, you've done your jobs. I think the full minute should be able to finish her off. Yep. And then it's just a case of sinking transports, uh, which I will uh, do to some light chairs.
There we go. Successful engagement against the United States Navy. Lovely. Back to the map. Let's go hurt the Italians. All right. First up, we have this, the Var Varisi, uh, a Sanita class heavy cruiser. Not the most up to date ship in the world. Uh, does carry a bunch of 185 millimeter guns, which is interesting. But yeah, that armor quality kind of indicates that it's maybe a somewhat older ship. Uh, I do actually have, uh, I haven't even mentioned it, but I do have both a new Dreadnought and a new Armoured Cruiser to build. But uh, we we have pretty busy shipyards at the moment, so that'll have to wait. Tonot and Jean de Vienna. <laughs> It's really fair using a scout cruiser on them. <laughs> I don't know what kind of cruisers they have, but I'm guessing it's... Well, actually, that's... That's not bad. That must be the heavy, right? Yeah. That's pretty decent, actually. And here's the light cruiser, just a typical... Protected cruiser. Bum 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 bum. more of a speculative torpedo launch than anything. Try and keep them at bay. Yeah, that's what I was concerned about. They have big enough guns to cause us a problem. Keep hitting away. We did get a pretty big hit on their cruiser there. Ton on. Like cruisers being fairly aggressive here. Ah, go for the lights for now. Lovely. Cruisers not taking as much damage as I would hope here. Not really getting through their armour in a catastrophic manner. Face away. They're rot they're rotating the uh, rotating the lead ship. Flooding and an engine out. That's good. More flooding. Oh, that's a nasty one. Maximum bulkheads. Come on. 
Come on. Down you go. Lovely. Now, take out the other light cruiser. The Montebello. If you please. Torps coming in. I don't... Well, I say they don't think they'll be necessary, but... Maybe they will, but they're going to miss. Ah. Turning away. Where's the light cruiser? In the backfield. They're not going to hit. No way. Heavy cruisers still fighting. It's impressive. Both of them actually pretty impressive in their survivability. Try a uh, AP. There you go. Got the armoured one. And now we should be able to take out the transports. Uh, no time lapse. I'll just see you on the post battle results screen. There we go. Uh, convoy and escorts suck. Next up, we have the Forbin. Trickle Lord class against the Kaltama. Kaltafimi. Class the Argodet. Um, the Tricolor is from 1907, at least the current version. That's over 10 years out of date. This thing's from 1912 and is running, what, nickel steel? Which is not, not, not the best. Um, <laughs> uh, if we even see them, of course. see them briefly as always the AI likes deploying the smoke immediately still trying to build the accuracy Getting one or two hits now. And now guns are locked. Uh, HE. And normal. Now you can go to auto. Put some AP shells in them. Boom. Not blocking that. Torpedo at me. Irrelevant. <laughs> Formba. <laughs> Absolutely. Kicking ass there. Damn. Impressive. How much is their cruiser? 22. Against 26. Supposedly an even fight. I think not. Last battle this month. And it's an interesting one. Because <laughs> a bunch of torpedo boats. Very old torpedo boats that Italy has kept around for some reason. Um, I probably do actually know why, but why they haven't refitted them since 1892, I have no idea. So one of the things I did in the mod was um, I increased the... Um, 
I think I think it's two hundred thousand tons. I increased the scrappage limit to so. Um, the idea is, or oh, there, there's a parameter in the game files, right? That basically says um, if you are above this limit, you're allowed to scrap ships. I think in vanilla it's like a hundred thousand tons. But what that led to was they would they would just go ahead and scrap ships, um, and particularly late game they'd have like one ship because <laughs> they can get so big. So I increased it to two hundred thousand, which seems about fair. Um, and I guess Italy doesn't hasn't been above that, so can't scrap them. Where are these torpedo boats? Arethus isn't exactly the fastest ship in the world. Which is why I'm keeping the destroyers with her, because I'm expecting her to get swarmed by uh, enemy ships. But that doesn't seem to be happening. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I'll be back when... Actually, no, it's just letting me end the battle. I'm just going to end it. Fine. Whatever. Weird. Welcome back. I should have guessed when I saw that it was... I guess what the French fleet was doing was helping the Philippines gain control of the Philippines, independent Philippines or whatever, although they're probably allied with someone else. Um, not allied with anyone. Okay, but I'm going to order these ships back home. Uh, although, I'm going to order the Triton back home. And I'm going to order the Victoire back home. And by home, I mean to their home port. But this fleet can do something amusing. Because you can naval invade Panama from two different directions. So they can move over there to help with our naval invasion efforts uh, against Panama when we eventually get to it. Uh, this should succeed next turn. This is still looking a little bit dodgy, so I'm going to win this and then move these ships over here. I may have to repeat the invasion of Colombia. Um, the Americans don't seem too keen to take me on. I've got another fight against all those torpedo boats. Um, again, no missions to Germany. I, I think the US keeps getting them, or the British, or the Germans, and it's not me. Um, it's just luck. But maybe now that this conquest is gone, um, we will get one. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's take on those torpedo boats again. Maybe. <laughs> Even harder this time, because I only have one destroyer, not two. But, uh, yeah, come on then. If you think you're hard enough, uh, I would like you to follow the cruiser, please. And I guess we'll see. Where are they coming from? Dead ahead. So they're supposed to be coming from over there. I reckon this is going to be a ghost battle. I don't think they're going to come at me. Maybe they will. <laughs> I love the oars. Gun oars. Hello, torpedo boats. Torpedo boats are tiny, so very difficult to spot as well. So they'll probably be quite close to us. I'm just going by the fact that I'm still on a times 30. And there's no sign of them. <laughs> Q Kamchatka memes. Do you see Italian torpedo boats? Because I don't. Nowhere to be found. Stop spawning missions like that, please. Put them closer. Oh. Right, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.